This 8K holographic display can show 3D content from 45 unique perspectives, with no headsets or special glasses required. I've had this dream of a holographic display since I was a little kid. I first saw the shark gobble up Marty McFly in Back to the Future 2. We visited the Looking Glass factory in Brooklyn, New York to learn all about their 8K immersive display and what the future looks like for this emerging new category of holographic video. If you think about any screen that's ever been made, all of those displays run off of pixels that have two properties of intensity and color. But the real world, like this DeLorean I happen to have here, is real to us because the light of this room is bouncing off of the glass and plastic and rubber with a third property of the directionality. Moving side to side, you can see how the light reflecting off the objects in the display changes based on the viewer's perspective. Lenses and magnifying glasses viewed through the 8K immersive display also illustrate how Looking Glass's light field technology mimics the behavior of light as it interacts with real world objects before arriving at your eyes. So we make all the optics and electronics for the Looking Glass product line that essentially sends out in some cases, like in the case of the Looking Glass 8K, 100 million points and controls the directionality of those 100 million points to generate a synthetic light field, which in non-nerd language just means a hologram. The Looking Glass displays have about a 40 to 50 degree viewing angle. Once you step outside the viewing cone, the image flips and distorts a bit. We like to think of the Looking Glass product line as kind of the Switzerland of the AR, VR, hologram universe where we can take any type of 3D input and we built enough software infrastructure so that the looking glass can run all these types of three-dimensional information. That also is represented in how we can work with any type of peripheral. Really any way that folks have developed to interact with three-dimensional information from the 2D computer field all the way up to what's been done in VR and AR landscape, the looking glass supports that. The display updates at a rate of 60 frames per second pretty standard for most computer displays and TVs. Even though there isn't a lot of 8K content out there for flat screens, there's a lot of three-dimensional content. Our software infrastructure has a camera, essentially, that takes dozens of different views of that three-dimensional scene, bundles them up into a video signal that then is deconstructed by the optics and electronics of the looking glass itself so that we can pull all of those perspectives from a virtual environment into the real world environment through the looking glass. This illustrates kind of how the light field processing is done in the background in a lot of our software. So the looking glass can really do anything that is in a totally virtual environment, but also capture and then replay the real world with a really high level of fidelity. The Looking Glass Factory's 8K immersive display might be their latest and largest holographic display, but it isn't the only option. The Looking Glass has an 8.9 inch version and a 15.6 inch version, which range in cost from about $600 to $6,000, depending on the type of package you get. These smaller desktop displays are aimed at developers, while the 8K immersive display is aimed at specific industries like medical imaging, holographic mapping, and scientific visualization. Folks interested in the 8K version will have to reach out to Looking Glass directly through their website for pricing information. I believe, and all of us here in our team believe, that the step that comes after 2D computers and 2D screens is a holographic step, primarily. One of my special dreams and my co-founder Alex's dreams when we started the company was the idea that you could have a looking glass here in Brooklyn and we could have one maybe in San Francisco or Shanghai. And between those two looking glasses, it would be like you poked a hole through the earth and you could share a few feet of space with somebody as if they were sitting right across from you, but in this case through a holographic looking glass. What would you do with a holographic display? Let us know your thoughts, dreams, and opinions down below. Thanks to my colleague in New York, Marta Franco, for visiting and filming the Looking Glass factory for us. And thanks to you all for watching. See you next time with the fam.